Hey, kia ora. Good morning. How are you on this super fantastic sparkling day? We are here in, um, in Georgia, um, Rossville, Roswell, however you want to say it. Um, still don't want to be called an alien. <laughs> so we're in Roswell, Georgia. I still pronounce it Rossville, but that's okay. Grateful for, for learning things. Um, Zephy would like to say hi too. You gonna say hi, Zephy? Oh, you're just gonna curl back up again. She's had a good long walk this morning. It's um, it was like 58 degrees when we went out for a walk this morning. It was awesome. So brisk, so fresh, so clean after all this the rain that came through yesterday. Had my tramping boots on, and um, off we went for our walk around the the campground and stuff. It was awesome. And uh, we had a great time. <laughs> Sophie's now decided, I'm going to sleep. But anyway, so we're on to Thursday. Wow. And so today we're making Thankful Thursdays. And that is what your challenges are all about today. Your mindset. Start your day with a grateful heart. What are you grateful for in your life today? What are you grateful for um, about anything? Just find something to be grateful for. Even in the most dire circumstances, you can still find something to be thankful for. You know, thankful that you're still able to breathe. Um, thankful that you are experiencing what you are experiencing because you're going to learn and grow from it and you're going to come out stronger because of it. Um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of stuff you can be thankful for. I'm thankful for um, everything that I have been through, good and bad, especially the bad stuff because it's made me strong, a stronger person. It has made me appreciate more um, the things that life gives me. So what, is, what are you thankful for this morning? Be thankful for something. Even if it's just, I'm thankful I have food in my cupboard. Or I'm thankful I, um, I have a roof over my head. I am thankful I have clean clothes to wear. I am thankful um, for my family. Just whatever. Be grateful for at least one thing. If you can find 10 things, that's even better. <laughs> so be thankful. So start your day with a grateful heart. Because when you start your day with a grateful heart, it puts you into a different mindset for the, for the rest of the day. It puts you into the, that place of love and acceptance and joy and uh, makes it closer to you. So be thankful for something today. Start your day with a grateful heart. Count, count your blessings. Um, let's see. Business. When did you last thank your clients? You know, this is, a, this is a tough time people are going through. Clients tend to get forgotten about in tough times. You know, we need to turn around and say, thank you for sticking with us. Thank you for being a great person. Thank you for your business. Um, when was the last time you said a thank you note to your clients to say, thank you, we appreciate you, we appreciate the business that you have brought us? Because remember, when we come out of all of this and things start returning to normal, as they are starting to do, People are going to remember those who um, reached out to them during this time, and they're the ones that are, they're going to give their business to. And remember, if you don't reach out to your clients during this time, you've already laid the found foundation for somebody else to come in and pick up your clients. They've already, you've already done the hard work. All they need to do is just turn around and say, hey, we're here. Hi. And they're going to turn around and say, well, you didn't care about me during this whole, this whole time, so why should I give you my business? I'm going elsewhere. So think about that. Send your clients a thank you note today. Say, hey, thanks for, be thanks for being in our business. Thank you for sticking by us during this time. I you know, hope you're doing well. Just wanted to um, say how much we appreciate you um, and hope that everybody's doing well in the family and all of that sort of thing. And then for your fun activity is write a thank you card. Send a thank you card to somebody. It doesn't matter who. Just send a thank at least one thankful card, one card of thank you today gratefulness gratitude 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 appreciation show one person like um you know if you've got kids at home thank the teachers i mean imagine the stuff that they're going through right now with um you know having to do classes online some places the schools have opened up again other places schools have closed are still closed but teachers are still having to work and they're doing their stuff online they're having to learn a new way of teaching while they are teaching so send send the kids Teacher, get the kids to write their teachers a thank you notes or you know the parents if you're a parent send your kids teachers thank you notes to say hey we appreciate everything that you've done for our kid during this time um, you know and just show appreciation um, send a thank you if you've got a, um, a member of your family or, or a friend who is a first responder or you know who's out there in the essential business whether they're stocking shelves in a supermarket or um, serving food at, at drive-throughs or at restaurants or they're um, in the hospitals helping patients battle this disease. Um, you know, send them a thank you note. 
just turn around and say, hey, thank you. We appreciate everything you've been doing for us during this time. Um, just wanted to let you know that you are greatly appreciated. Send those notes. Let people know how grateful you are for them. Instead of just sitting back going, well, humbug. Get off your butt. Be thankful. And you know, start finding things. First of all, get in the right mindset. So begin that mindset of appreciation of gratitude. Pull that mindset out. Start being appreciative for things that are in your life. Start appreciating your clients and um, then turn around and give thanks to those family members and those friends who are out there on the front lines who are having to have had to who are essential workers who have had to work through this entire thing. Um, you know, thank a nurse, thank a firefighter, thank a paramedic, thank a doctor, thank um, the, the people that work in the grocery stores, thank the people who work in the restaurants and the fast food places that have been keeping you know, food coming, they've had to change the way they serve food, that they prepare food. Um, well, actually, food prep probably doesn't change that much because if you've ever been through any food and safety and sanitation classes like I have and certifications and things, yeah, I don't think there's much they could change during this time except to mask all the, all the kitchen workers because um, some of those things are pretty strict. Um, I've been through those certifications before. Um, never want to watch those videos again. <laughs> Trust me, you would look at things. You look at things through a completely different set of eyes when you have been through a food safety and sanitation class, um, even just once. And I've been through several because I had to keep up certifications and things when I was working in the hotel industry. Yeah, I don't want to do that again. Um, <laughs> but you know, so show appreciation to those that have had to work during this time, especially teachers. I mean, they've had to learn. If they didn't already know how to use the technology, they've had to learn a new technology. At the same time, they've had to. Um, you know, still maintain control of a classroom, even though it's a virtual classroom. So they've had to learn a lot and still maintain lessons and everything else. So they've had to completely change their way of teaching from being in person in a classroom to being virtually online. So thank the kids teachers today. Thank those doctors. Thank the nurses. Thank the grocery worker, the grocery shop workers. Thank the restaurant people. All of those that have been doing essential services. You know, thank your mailman, your postie, your, um, the people who run the, um, the mail, the the post office, but also those ones that have the um like the UPS store and postal annex and mailboxes, etc. Those places too, because they're all essential workers. Thank your chiropractor. Um, I know of some chiropractors that are still working during this time. I know there are massage therapists out there who, even though they've had to close their businesses, there are some that have um gone and done um, massages for those in crisis. So thank those people. There's a lot of people out there that have been keeping things ticking along. Um, during this whole time and they've, a lot of them have gone totally unappreciated. So today for your fun activity is reach out to those people and send them a thank you note. So it's all about gratitude today. Get First of all, get in the mindset of gratitude. You cannot give gratitude if you do not have a mindset of gratitude. So get into, so find at least 10 things. You can find one thing that's good, but try for, go for 10. Aim for, for a list of 10 things that you are grateful for in your life, about yourself, get into that mindset, then start thanking and appreciating your clients for your business, and then start appreciating all the essential workers that are in your lives. Okay, that's it from me for today. Um, tune in tonight because tonight we're going to announce who the winner is of the caption contest. And if you haven't seen the photograph yet, there is a photograph on my Facebook page of Zephy laying on the... Um, laying in my seat where I sit at the dining table to work and eat because it's the only place in my RV I have to do both and um, she's laying there on my seat and I'm wanting a caption and the winner of the caption will win a personalized journal where the cover is completely customized for you um, including the little round snap thing Run snap thing. Um, and so the winner will be the person whose, ca whose caption has the most likes, loves, hugs, wows and laughs so that person will be announced tonight at um 4 p.m pacific 7 p.m eastern when we go live tonight and we've also got um a pretty cool anniversary today too not sure how i feel about this anniversary but if you want to know what it is tune in tonight at 4 p.m pacific 8, uh, 7 p.m eastern and you'll find out what that what the the anniversary is for today for me as well as who the winner is for the caption of a Zephy laying in my seat looking at me I've got a really good caption for it but um, I'm not typing it in there so um, but remember the winner gets a really personalized journal and they're really cool I'm waiting for my box my box arrives tomorrow and then I get to pull out my journal and my stick ups and uh, 
I'm excited. <laughs> Never been so excited to get mail before. <laughs> but um, I haven't had my mail sent out for about four weeks now. So I'm really looking forward to getting my mail tomorrow. Um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a great days of oohs and ahs. And, <laughs> and then tomorrow I get to catch up with um, friends I haven't seen in probably 12 years. So they're going to be coming up tomorrow and having lunch with me. So that's going to be awesome. Um, it's going to be good to catch up with my friends tomorrow. So it's going to be so tomorrow's a very exciting day. But today's also a very interesting anniversary. So tune in tonight at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern um, to find out what the anniversary is today, and also find out who the winner of the caption of the for um, Zephy's picture is. So if you want to check out the picture, it's in my Facebook page on my timeline. I posted it yesterday. You'll see it there because it says in the description what you need to do, and um, yeah, can't wait. I've been peeking. I've been peeking at the com I've been peeking at the captions, but I'm not voting on any of them yet because um, I'm waiting for other people to get on there and vote. So go vote for your favourite, and um, or put your one in there and see if you can get some votes for it as well. But until tonight, have a super fantastic sparkling day. Heck on ara.